Hey YouTube, Halo Guy here. I've got some cool details today about the MCC PC flighting and when exactly it's happening. And on top of that, we've got a bunch of confirmed details we know about Halo Infinite so far. So without any further ado, let's just jump straight into it. First off, let's talk some MCC. The cover art for the game is getting an awesome brand new coat of shiny paint. This was done because when the MCC initially launched way back in 2014, there were only four games in the collection. Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3 and Halo 4. But now, in 2019, we have Halo 3 ODST and very soon we'll have Halo Reach being added into the collection, which is a big talking point in Halo right now, you know, besides all of the infinite details we'll get. So, our good friends over at 343 Industries decided to make some adjustments to the MCC cover art, adding the rookie from ODST a noble team from Halo Reach, while also giving the title a nice golden finish and making the Chief Helmet a lot more green instead of the blue we used to have. What do you guys think of the new cover art? Let me know in the comments down below. Now before I jump into the MCC PC port release details, which I'm sure you cannot wait to hear, I'm just going to give a big congratulations to the Halo community for really showing up and actually causing havoc for the Xbox experience at E3 due to how many people were waiting in line just to play Halo Reach on the PC. You guys, once again, absolutely crushed it. Moving on though, Uniboy, our favourite community, Sweaty Boy, mentions in this community update, which will be linked down below by the way, if you're interested in reading it for yourself, that if everything goes according to plan, our first flight for Halo Reach on MCC PC will be next week, which is the week of the 24th by the way, to a small subsection of registered Halo Insiders. We're starting more modestly because we've got quite a few levers to pull and we want to ensure our delivery pipeline runs smoothly. Our communications are clear and that the participants can properly provide their feedback on the build. Since there are so many pieces and levers that need testing, verification and appropriate approvals, we need to take our time to ensure we're sending out a quality flight to our Halo Insiders. The team has a build which appears to be a strong candidate but it's still in the middle of going through the test process. That said, we're still targeting to release next week and we will be sharing the details with the public. So even if you aren't selected for the flight, you'll know what's happening. Stay tuned for more details throughout. Oh boy, hype levels intensifies, am I right guys? But what does that actually mean? A small subsection of Halo Insiders. Well, it really means that the chance of you the person watching this video of actually getting to play the MCC on PC next week are pretty much 0.0014794% but don't give up hope. It's better than no chance at all. In all serious though guys, they really want this game to work properly, even in the Insider build. I think it will be big community guys with large followings and pro players that get these first positions with a couple hundred randoms at the very most, just in case it doesn't work. Just imagine, if they released this to the masses and it didn't work, the news would spread like wildfire, even with the NDAs that need to be signed before you can access the Insider builds. So while it's kind of disappointing, it's the best thing for Halo, and don't worry, when it's clear that the game is fully functioning and works properly, they are going to be releasing it into the wild with thousands of Insiders helping to test. I'll be very shocked if the masses don't have access to an insider build by the end of July. That's all for MCC, but like I said in the beginning, we have a full list of confirmed Halo Infinite details within this community update. First off, we have the release window, which is holiday of 2020, alongside the next gen Xbox Project Scarlet. The game takes place sometime after Halo 5, and us eagle-eyed folks have managed to confirm that the game takes place in 2561 at the very earliest, due to the visor bios and opening cinematics to the game. Halo Infinite will also support LAN, as well as split screen, for that classic Halo couch co-op experience we're all craving since Halo 5 released without either of these features. The undersuits in the game have been confirmed to be black, and I'm still a big advocate for the undersuits to be a customization option within the multiplayer but we'll have to wait and see if that happens. It would be awesome if we could wear different styles of undersuits, kind of like Fireteam Osiris in Halo 5, who had a completely different undersuit to Blue Team and the multiplayer Spartans. We also know that the beta for the game will come in the form of the flighting, similarly to how Halo MCC has been getting its flighting. 
However, the PC flighting will be separate from the Xbox flighting and will happen a little later, but they are ensuring us that it's still going to be classed as a first class citizen. Now, if you're grinding out to 152 in Halo 5 like myself, you'll be awarded with a little token of appreciation. However, don't get too hyped about this, as it was pretty much confirmed a while back by Uniboy that it won't be in exclusive armour. And finally, we know that there is a pro team within 343 to test Halo Infinite's multiplayer to make sure it's as balanced as possible. Hopefully they don't go all out on the esports like they did with Halo 5, as even though I love ranked play and watching the pro league and the world champs and getting really involved with it all, the social and casual community within Halo is so much larger than the competitive scene, so they need to be catered to as well, probably even more than us, if the game is to truly thrive and be as successful as it once was. That was the beauty of Halo 3 in the past games. It could be played both competitively and casually, which is why it did so well and sold so many copies and had a much higher re player retention rate. But that's everything we know so far about Halo Infinite, not a lot, but we'll certainly be hearing a lot more over the coming months leading to the flighting, and then with the 2020 E3 we'll be getting so much Halo Infinite, and that is when the true hype starts. But that's all for me today guys, leave down in the comments down below if you're ecstatic to play Halo MCC on PC. Or even if you're like me and are more concerned with playing Halo Reach in 4K 60fps on your Xbox One X. Both experiences are going to be great, but other than that guys, like the video if you enjoyed, it helps the channel out a ton. Subscribe with notifications if you haven't already to stay up to date with all my latest videos as soon as they go live. I'll be covering all Halo news big or small, so you'll want to keep up with the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching until the end, I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good one.